Hello and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego Hit Inside El Fuego's Stunt Plane set. This is set number 70429. It has 295 pieces, and I paid $22 for this set now. Like all the other Hidden Side uh, sets, this is retired, um, and the app is no longer available. So, for some of the augmented reality stuff, uh, I can no longer access. But uh, for all the Hidden Side sets that I've done recently, like Al Fuego's Stunt Truck, uh, the paranormal interceptor bus uh and a couple of the gwps like the new uh berry juice bar and the drag racer i've all still really really liked these hidden side sets and i'm still kind of on a mission to hunt down uh more of them uh so again if anybody has uh you know copies of these or access to these uh, maybe we can work out a deal but uh either way i was pretty excited to get this one and so in this video i'm going to open this up i'm going to put this together and then i'm going to share my thoughts on it so while I build, I will speed the video up, and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So, until then, enjoy! Okay, so while we look at the build process for this LEGO Hidden Side El Fuego's Stunt Plane set, I just wanted to take a moment to say thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it, and... Uh, yeah, just a sincere thank you. And then I wanted to remind you that if you haven't already, if you do like this video, maybe consider clicking the thumbs up and giving it a like. And if you like my other videos and you want to stay up to date on all the other stuff I'll be doing here in the future, click on that subscribe button. Uh, all that stuff, likes, comments, subscribes, shares, views, any sort of engagement helps my channel grow, helps me reach new audiences, and so I uh, am just very, very grateful and appreciative for that, and uh, so thank you very much, and we're on the road to a thousand subscribers, so thank you everybody who's helping me get there, and I have some stuff planned for when we get to that next big milestone, and I'm just... Uh, uh, just very grateful. So thank you very much. And now back to the rest of the build for this Lego Hidden Side El Fuego's Stunt Plane set. And then on to my review for this set. Okay, so that is this Lego Hidden Side El Fuego's Stunt Plane set. This is awesome, and I felt like I got a really good deal here. Um, but I really like this set. I've been liking a lot of uh, Hidden Side sets, and this one's no different. There's tons of cool stuff in here. And so I'm pretty excited I got to take a look at this. And... Um, the first thing we'll take a look at is the minifigures because you do get several and I thought this was interesting because some of these characters I've gotten in other sets but maybe not exactly the same so first one here got the little ghost dog Spencer gotten them in a couple other sets it's a nice dual molded piece this one's actually looks a little bit wonky on some of it but I have a couple of those which is nice the next one is Jack and now I've gotten Jack before in a couple different sets but uh, the jack that I had had a dual molded um, like uh, hood and hat piece, but because the hat is on backwards here, this is now a dual molded hair and hat piece, so you could take that off. And then the hood piece there, it goes around the neck, which is interesting. They do have one of the uh, printed tiles here for a smart device. Nice printing for the torso, printing on the legs, printing on the midsection just a little bit. I think it's nice to get a different version of um, Jack here, so that's good. So this one with the hood down is really nice. You can see the extra printing there on the uh, hat as well. So really great minifigure there. Next one we get, again, this is one that I've gotten in a different set, but I don't think it was like this. So this is uh, El Fuego. This is El Fuego's uh, stunt plane. This is El Fuego in a 
uh, or as a skeleton, but it does have El Fuego's helmet there that we can see with the printing, it does have a cape, and then it's just a skeleton body. And then these legs are dual molded pieces where the leg and the black foot part is all uh, molded together, which I don't know if I've seen very much of there. So that was new to me and interesting to see. So we get El Fuego, no alternate face there for them. And then the last one we get is Mary Breaksome. So this is really interesting. This is a great figure, tons of detail uh, and some, some cool stuff. So Mary Breaksome has this big brick built uh, kind of jetpack type um, accessory thing here. So we can take a look at that and I'll take it off uh, in a moment here. But this is a sticker with the star with her logo on there though. And then these are kind of like different pearl, silver, gray pieces. Uh, just a basic helmet there. Let me grab that. So we can take that off, but I have to take off the whole back piece with the four studs on it there that goes around the neck. And then we can see the rest of uh, Mary's torso and head print there. So nice printing on the torso, a lot of good color in there, including some, some kind of reflective stuff with the different star pattern up here, which is nice. Nothing on the midsection, but does have printing on the legs, which is really good. Nothing on the arms. We can see the face printing does have some goggles already on there and they have an alternate face and then we can see some more of these star pattern stuff here on the back which is nice so that's a really good figure and then this bit goes around uh, the neck area and this whole bit kind of uh, studs onto the back including that that stickered piece there but mary is one of the characters that has a hidden side so uh, let me get that constructed here so we can take a look at it, which means uh, they do come with an alternate kind of ghostly head translucent with the printing there like that. They do still use the uh, jetpack like thing here, but it has these kind of hidden side translucent yellowish greenish splat elements that come pre-packaged and in the instructions it does have you attach some of these to Mary when they are in their hidden side configuration so uh, and some of the things it includes are these really nice pieces that kind of look like claws almost or f uh, so that's really cool and you do get a couple extra of these that aren't used which is interesting But that's kind of how Mary would look in the hidden side configuration here with these different splat elements there and Different stuff coming off of uh, them. So that's good to get that nice to get the alternate head there and uh, These are good minifigures three three figures and uh, they're at the very least interesting. So that's pretty cool and then the rest of the build besides the figures is this plane and that's pretty much the whole thing but i was very surprised by the size of this this is actually a lot more substantial than i thought it would be especially considering the piece count uh i think this is quite a bit bigger than like the um, Amelia Earhart tribute set. I think it's wider and just more robust in in many spaces So that's cool. There are a lot of stickers in here, which uh, I'm trying to think about the hidden side sets that I've done I think this one's maybe got more stickers than a lot of other hidden side sets So here's the sticker sheet. We can see one of them was just on this but then I'll kind of go through pointing out all the other stickers so on the end of this wing here and end of this wing here at the rear on these, these kind of target uh, things are stickers. The F for El Fuego there on the other side are stickers. Same for this one here is a sticker. Over here is a sticker. And over here, and again over here. So good amount of stickers there. Uh, there's also a sticker right here on that uh, little slope there a couple more stickers at the rear on the tail so a good amount of stickers but that's okay none of them were too difficult to put on i don't think and uh, they add 
a good amount of stuff. They had a good amount of detail and different things. So uh, it doesn't bother me too, too much. Of course, I would love to get more prints, but uh, this is okay. And then we have this, this plane. So this is really awesome. There's tons of cool features here. I love the colors of this. I think the colors are really, really good. Um, they're very bright and nice. I was actually really uh, impressed with a lot of the build techniques in here. It's really, really cool. Uh, I thought the wings were very simple. Uh, they were done very simply, but they work really, really well. They just have essentially one of these big four by i don't know 12 or something plates and you put uh these bigger like panel pieces around them and that's pretty much how you build the wings i do like how the wings are a little bit like staggered like the ones on top are a little bit further forward they're also a little bit wider which is nice the tail is all really good the curves are really nice here at the back which is cool i like that it's open um it's pretty interesting oh here's another sticker right here on the back of that chair piece there so another sticker there these kind of elements here i would consider them being as put on like backwards but they're not backwards they're just used in a different way which i thought was really nice which gives it that kind of that lean there which is great we do have wheels down here there's a little tiny one at the rear two up here which is awesome there is some like flame pieces which are maybe some exhaust there there are places to sit so minifigures can be put in here there are a couple studs and those uh things that can go between minifigures legs in there uh so you could fit a figure uh, up front i'm not sure i think you could probably fit one in the back too and i believe you can fit one right here as well uh so that's kind of interesting and you and you might want one to be facing the rear and the reason you might want that is as you can see we have two stud shooters here which are are nice uh that's where that control panel is the older style stud shooter there and we also have another one here this one can kind of swivel around so if someone was you know kind of in the uh, back seat of this uh, cockpit area they could maybe control this uh, the bit over here i believe is one of the hidden side things so maybe when this color uh, is seen from the app that would uh, trigger something else so that's pretty cool and there's another bit of that which i've seen in other sets but in here it's integrated really well so if we look at the front the propeller can spin this is a really cool construction using like what i would consider like a bionicle or a ninjago kind of rim piece or something there and all these different kind of vented slope pieces here and different pearl silvery kind of bits there so i think that's really good but if you look back here as this whole unit turns different colors become visible there behind the uh behind the propeller behind the engine area so there's four different colors back there and i'm assuming that's one of the hidden side features that depending on what color is visible there to the app or to the smart device or whatever uh, it might trigger something else the paranormal intercept bus had something similar to that with similar colors i believe or the same colors even and i think al fuego's stunt truck also had that I I think this one's integrated really nicely and it hides really well too because this one color is the same as a lot of the body of the plane so you can just have it in that configuration and not really know that it's there and it feels very hidden which is great uh there's also i don't know if this is another hidden side bit here this little hatch can open up it may be either this color there or something down here might uh, trigger something we do have a little uh like mixel ball joint in here for a uh, joystick or a steering yoke or something in there which is great and overall i think the shape of this is is really cool it's uh it got great size great visual weight it actually feels hefty as well it's very solidly built uh which is awesome there's some good techniques in here like clipping these pieces all on there to get that shape which is really nice and just building out the whole uh 
the whole body of the plane i think is is really well done uh, not too much technic just like a little bit for the wheels here and and a few other places but other than that, it's just your standard like bricks and plates and tiles and different stuff like that. Kind of a lot of stickers, but not too bad. And uh, I think this is a just a terrific set. It's got a lot of cool details. It feels great. It can roll easily. It can be grabbed, and I'm not worried about things falling off necessarily. It can be swooshed around. It's got different places for minifigures. It's got hidden side features. It's got the stud shooters there which are nice uh, I like some of the asymmetry which is cool that I've been finding in a lot of hidden side things like some of the stuff that's over here is different than stuff over here which is great this sticker there is different than this sticker there they're not just mirrored they're actually uh, different which is awesome so there's just tons of cool stuff here and I actually feel like this almost has like balance to uh have the back end lifted off so when it's the back end wheel is is down uh it kind of has a, a you know it's tilted up from takeoff but uh at a certain point you know it starts getting some lift and this just feels really well balanced i feel like it's not you know perfectly balanced by any means but it just feels like it's balanced well which i i really didn't expect and i really like to see that so this is like a great toy it's also just a great model i do wish i was able to see the hidden side features in action uh like this uh up here but that's just the case on many of the hidden side sets and uh, i've kind of made peace with that i still really like building them still really like looking at them so that's really cool, and I think this is a terrifically designed set. I, I think it's just really, really, really good. It looks great from all angles. This is such a cool look. Uh, the propeller engine kind of assembly is really inspired and inspiring, which is great. I think uh, the overall shape of the body is also just very, very good. Very few uh, complaints for me, except for you know not being able to see the... Uh, all the extra functionality that was built in here and then maybe just the amount of stickers i don't know what i would rather have um you know printed i, I would like these to be printed uh these kind of bigger panel pieces here that are like sometimes used for a hood of a car or something i would like those to be printed um this bit that goes on the back of the minifigure kind of build here that would have been nice bit to be printed uh but a lot of the other things don't bother me too too much so uh that's pretty nice and uh i just really really like this set so uh great as far as extra pieces go you do get a couple of the extra like kind of hidden side splat type pieces here so you can see those while uh the other ones are used on the mary figure you do get you know the extra head and whatever else get a couple extra of the blue translucent or purple i think blue translucent uh studs for these stud shooters so you i have three loaded on here two over here and one back here and then you have three extras and then there's be one extra one in the uh extra pieces and i'll show those um not too many of them uh but like your stud shooter trigger the fire piece uh, some technic bits pins and then your one by ones your plates your tiles your studs your just different stuff modified stud with the bar off of it or whatever so those are your extra pieces and this set is 295 pieces uh, and I paid $22 for this set. Um, and three figures, which are, are good. I think this one's really good. I, I'm really happy to get a different version of Jack. I was kind of worried that maybe he was going to be just the same version in every set. So I was pretty delighted to see like the different hood piece there that goes around the collar. And the different dual molded uh, head and hair piece there. And, and even though the rest is the same, that still changes it up a bit. Nice to get the interesting El Fuego here with the printed uh, helmet again and then with these feet on the skeleton or these boots which is interesting and the, the cape piece there. I think this is great. Nice to get some hidden side uh, things going on here with another ghoulish face uh, which is great. And this is a character that I haven't seen in other sets. Uh, Spencer's always good to get. I have a couple of them. And then the main build, you know, 
295 pieces so just shy of 300 but this feels pretty big i mean there are some big pieces in here there's some big plates there's all of these big panel pieces uh there are some smaller pieces too but uh, that's like any set but as far as the footprint goes and the visual weight of this and then just the literal weight of this uh and how how heavy it feels and how solid it feels and how great it looks i think um this is really really nice and i think this is a good deal i don't know what this retailed for i'm assuming probably around 30 dollars 25 30 35 in that range uh back when this came out which several years ago so if it came out today maybe it would be different but i got this in the aftermarket i got it sealed and i think i got a great price i think 22 dollars for this is, is incredible i actually bought this from the same person that i bought the batman bat sub underwater clash set from and that set only had like 174 pieces and i ended up paying i think 28 dollars for that one and only 22 dollars for this one this main model is a lot better like a lot more interesting it's a way more of a fun build it's a better toy uh it's way better than the bat sub the other one had you know ip related minifigures and stuff and some of them that might have some value still but i just think 22 dollars for this is a is a real steal i, I think um I would have easily paid $30 for this and been super happy with the value at that price. I might have even paid even more and been okay with it. So I'm just very happy I was able to get this at the price that I did, uh, especially like a sealed copy and everything. And uh, this is tons of fun. And it's just another hidden side set that I really, really, really liked. So I, I can't wait to just keep looking at these hidden side sets. And if I can keep finding great deals on, you know, sealed versions of these, I'm going to keep trying to track them down and, and get them. There's still several other hidden side sets and that i know i want at the very least if i can't get all of them but kind of want to try to get the whole uh I think there's only a couple waves but i kind of want to get the whole theme that would be uh, really fun for me because they just haven't really been letdowns i mean even the the gift with purchases for the hidden side like the newberry juice bar and the drag racer were so so uh but i still really enjoyed them at the end of the day so uh I'm just looking forward to it. I, I, I've been liking this hidden side. I would love for Lego to bring it back, even if they brought it back without the app, even though that's such a crucial thing. I just like uh, spooky stuff, and it's spooky season right now, so we get kind of ghosty things and skeleton things and all different stuff, and, and I think that's great. And this is a really cool model. Uh, and I think I like this more than the stunt truck, actually, even though the stunt truck had some cool features and some neat stuff. I really like the Paranormal Intercept Bus 3000, but this is a great, great set as well in that in a nice size, uh, nice piece budget and. $22 is a, is a is a total deal in my opinion. So uh, that was really great. So I love this. This is fun. It's three great figures, an awesome model uh, that is just really terrific. So I'm very, very pleased. I like this set a lot, but I've, I've been liking all the hidden side sets so far, so I can't wait to get more. If you like this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up and giving it a like. And if you like my other videos on my channel, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the LEGO videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more LEGO Hidden Side, uh, and then just tons of other LEGO sets from all different themes, all different shapes, sizes, price points, piece counts, age ranges, uh, all different things. So subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming LEGO videos. And if you want to support this channel and support my videos here, you can do that right here through YouTube with supers and memberships and thanks and all different stuff like that. And I still have the Patreon, which is in the video description and on my channel page. It's patreon.com slash sobricks. You can join for as little as $2 a month, get access to all my videos early, some exclusive stuff for like bigger sets that I'm doing, including the Rivendell set that I'm working on right now, uh, as well as just a bunch of other stuff in the works. So maybe consider checking that out. Every little bit helps, so it is appreciated, and um, thank you very much. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'm sort of getting some stuff ready to maybe give away a bunch of different poly bags and, and other stuff when I get to the next milestone. So thank you, everybody, who's helping me uh, on this uh, endeavor, and I really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun for me, so thank you very much. And until next time, thanks. Bye.